remember that. Hello. Yeah. I'm Jamie. I'm Judy. We're from Endless Creations, Columbus, Indiana. How are you guys today? Now, the first thing we would like to do is, I hope you guys watched the first part last week. If not, um, here's a recap. We are going to, we are doing this dresser from start to finish. This is our, this is our end goal. It's actually got four different colors of Miss Lillian's No Wax Chop, chop Paint. Uh, we started with prep. Well, get first steps. First, yeah. Sorry, I'm tongue-tied today. These are our products. First step for cleaning, which is awesome, awesome stuff. Swamp Mud in the gray because we didn't have the white. I forgot to bring it. Yes, it was Jamie's fault. And then... The lighter color you see is really a light gray. It's not white, and it's called Eyeing the Past. Uh, get up closer. There you go. You can see it. My camera's backwards, so I'm having to do everything <laughs> opposite way of what I really should be doing. And then we have Sterling. It's a not a light light gray, but it's a it's pretty bit. light. There's that. And then we have Gallant, which is a dark gray. Which I love this gray. I didn't realize how pretty it was till. So we this got it gray all is almost an exact match to the Swamp Mud. The only yes. difference is the paint gives a little bit of a shine. This is the Swamp Mud on. Oh, this, whole, this whole side is still Swamp Mud, which we prep because of the slick surface. This is actually, these drawer fronts are plastic. So we use the swamp mud to let the paint adhere better. Now we've got industrial, which is kind of like a light black. And this is the bottom piece. It's a really pretty black. It is, it's beautiful. Now the difference you will see on here, these three drawers, this is one coat. And paint. I'm gonna take you up closer to give you a close up view of that. So you can see the difference in the paint coats of paint. So, over here, get you down here. Right here is the swamp mud only, okay? And then on the top, she's done one coat of eyeing the past. That way we can show you how to put paint on a large surface that, with that and how not to get the start and stop points. This side here has all been done with one coat on everything over the swamp mud. And then in the middle here, she's done two coats on these two and then Sterling took a third coat. So that's what it's all gonna look like whenever we're finished. And then she's also done, oh, get that turn there, done three coats on this side. And that's with Eye in the Past. So we wanted to show you the whole piece and what we've done to it so far before we actually put these Stop. doors out and Stop. got started. And she always freaks out on me whenever I move this because, well, because it, it keeps wanting to fall. It fell on me the other day. Fall off my rollers. So we're gonna move this out to where I can show you how to paint the side too. Normally we have this all set up, but we wanted to show you guys what it, each step looked like. Okay, that's about to work. So, there we go. Now we're cooking. There. So we'll leave this here. We're going to take the drawers out for the ones that we have to paint still. Oh, I don't like turning this. And we're going to do that with a screwdriver, maybe. And we label our drawers sometimes when we think about it. That way we know where to put them back in at after they're painted because with some dressers, it really does matter. It makes a difference. So now that I've probably made you all dizzy, I'm gonna take you back up here where you can see us do the, the drawers. <laughs> I'll just 
And you should be close enough where you can see, really see us painting it. Okay, so you have the top one. I have the top one, which will be the sterling, which is a lighter gray. I also would like to talk to you about the paint brushes. Oh, yes, I forgot. Miss Lillian's has, oh my goodness, I don't know how many different kinds. I don't know, I've never counted. Um, these are all the all Miss Lillian's paint brushes except for these three. So, I'll let you talk about the paint brushes and I'll okay. start painting while she's talking about We that have too. the angled synthetic. You can see how soft that is. That's what Jamie will be using on the top. Yep. These, first time using them yesterday for detail, and I absolutely love it. It gets into this detail so good, which I'll be, that's what I'll be using on all three of the drawers. Do you still wet your brush? Yes. Like we did? I always let, wet my brush. So we just take a spray bottle. I'm trying to get, it. it's the opposite of the camera. No, you're fine. I just have to remember the opposite of what I'm seeing in the camera. Okay. It's confusing. Then this is a shorter version. It's really soft, natural bristles. This is the smaller one, the oval shaped. And this is the large. And I've used them all and I love them all. She also carries chip brushes. There's a one and a half inch and there's a two inch. And they are great chip brushes. This, Whenever we say a chip brush, these are your, sometimes like to put prevention or something on, which is a uh, prevention as a, um, to keep bleed through and- it's a primer. Yeah, primer, sorry, got tongue twisted again. But you wanna use like a chip brush because you really can't clean that out. And these you can just toss. And you're not spending a lot of money on exactly. Them. And you just can toss them. you can use these for paint too, because it's self leveling. So these I don't know what what they really call them, but I call them the little pointed brush. <laughs> I don't so know what they're named. I on. I can't remember the exact name of them. them. And then we always have a little uh, the artist. smaller brushes, the artist brushes for tight spots or little bitty corners that you can't get into. But so far with this, I haven't found that to be a problem. Can I have So this? I am doing the color Gallant Gray over this Swamp Mud, and you can see how very close it is in color. And it's if you're not in the right light, it can be hard to see where you've done <laughs> with this color being so close, but I've got good enough light right here, so, and I'm at an angle. It makes it a little easier, so that's a little tip for you too. Sometimes you gotta paint at an angle. We would love it if you put in the comments, um, hashtag live or hashtag replay, whichever way you're watching this. And if you like, share, and is it comment too? I don't remember now. I think you should like and share. Like and share, maybe even comment here. Tell them that you've done it. The video, that, this video, then you will be entered into a giveaway at the end for a free eight ounce of Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint. And we will announce the winner at the end. So you'll have up until just a couple minutes before we end, we'll let you know that it's gonna be your last chance to enter. And then we'll announce it. And this, Miss Lillian's really does go a long way. I mean, your first coat should be a light coat and it should look ugly uh, because, you know, you're just, your second coat, and if you need a third coat, which does not happen very often, um, it does with your, like your whites or your really super light collars. You might have to do like touch-ups, something like that. Um, but it, it really does not take a lot of paint. A little goes a long way. We'd like to know where you guys are watching from. You wouldn't mind letting us know. And your weather. We have nice weather today. Yeah, we have 
it's supposed to storm later on tonight and of course rain now for the next two or three days but at least it's 70 75 yesterday was 78 and sunny that sounds like a song we are not going to answer questions right now while we're on here we're just going to keep painting and teaching you guys our process of doing the miss lillian's no wax chalk paint and again what we're working on is a stepped ombre so it's not really ombre where they're the colors are blended together it's more of a start and finish line with the ombre colors miss lillian's is on in case anybody has questions right now they'd be more than happy to help you um if anybody is interested in ordering uh if you go to the miss lillian's website miss lillian's chalk paint no wax chalk paint no nope. oh. no nope. Miss Lillian's paint.net. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's got it saved so she doesn't type it in. Yeah, I don't <laughs> type it in. I save everything because, you know, my memory's just not as good as it I used to be. I type it because I will forget to. So I type it. But if you go there, you can order. Um, you can find a retailer near you. That, if possible, that would be your, that would be the go-to. Uh, they can answer any questions that you have. We have some awesome, awesome retailers. And Miss Lillian herself, she <laughs> she is one heck of a woman, let me tell you what. They keep coming up with these inventions of these different paints. She's already got, I think last count was 152 collars. And the products, oh my goodness. There's just so many products. She has metallic paints, which are absolutely gorgeous. And if you go and you like Miss Lillian's and watch all of the videos, there's a lot of tutorial videos. Um, they're trying to schedule like two to three a week. So if, if there's anything you guys want to see that we haven't provided for any of those videos yet, just let us know. Any of us would be more than happy to let you, well, to try it out. We like trying out new things. We were just talking right before this video about the paints. So she she went to the doctor the other day and she was talking to the doctor about us painting furniture. And the doctor said something about not liking painted furniture. She likes the refinished, the wood look. So Judy got out her phone and showed her that last set that we did. Um, it was our very first live with you guys. Well, and it was that China Hutch and table set. So she showed her that picture. And I'm just gonna show you this real quick. I've got a coat of the Gallant Gray on that. So that one's done for now. So anyway, she was showing her the picture of that set and she could not believe that that was paint. Yeah, she was, she was amazed because she's a stained person. She's an original, she likes the original old furniture and she loves the stain and she just didn't like paint. And she's like, that's really painted? I said, yes, ma'am, it is. And she was just, she was thrilled. She couldn't believe it. So she asked us three or four times where, where well, she asked me, sorry, where our booth was and I told her so. Hopefully we have a new customer and she'll come in and get some paint and try it. That's what we love to see. We love to give people um, the opportunity to try out Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint and her products. And they send us pictures. We asked for them to either to send us a picture so we can post it on our Facebook page. Get out of and they do awesome. For their first time, it's so easy to use. It really, really is. And like I said before, if you have any questions, they're more than happy to answer. Be sure to like this video and share it so you'll be entered to win an eight ounce jar of paint, your color of your choice. Okay, 
So after she told me that story of the doctor, I was telling her, I was like, yeah, you know, Sorry, now that I think about it, I, we've used all kinds of paint products out there, okay, all different lines, and we used to carry a different one, I, and it was a good product, but you had to wax it and everything. But I was telling Judy, I was like, you know what? I never really thought about it before, but with Miss Lillian's, our product, our pieces really do look like they could have been factory finished. They are just that smooth of, I don't know um, where I'm looking for. Um, they're smooth like a baby's butt, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they just look clean and nice, and you can't see brush strokes and all that. A we, lot of painted furniture, you see all the brush strokes, and you can feel it and tell that somebody's painted it. You, you don't do that with Miss Lillian's. You, it doesn't feel like paint. It, it just really looks and feels like a factory finish, and I just love that. So I think that after she showed her those pictures, she she was changed on the I think I paint. won her over. <laughs> I think we won her over. So here is the color industrial that I'm doing now. Have you done the gallon yet? Yep. yep. And you can see how very little paint I am using and getting all of this detail, and it's covering really good. This is the first coat of Sterling. Like I said, your first coat will look ugly. Don't, don't spaz out. Yeah. That second coat really will smooth everything out. And the importance is make sure your, your piece is clean. Whenever you paint it, just do a thin coat. You don't need a heavy coat. No, I'm doing a really thin coat and it's still covering really good with this industrial. This is my first time using color industrial. So I am super pleased with it. Look at that difference. Beautiful. So this is one coat and then I think that Judy is going to do a second coat on the ones that she's already done one on while I show you how to do the top of it without getting those start and stop lines. Excuse me. Now what we do with our paint brushes, because we're going to be using them again, is we wrap them in a baby wipe or you can use a wet paper towel, whatever you, you choose. And we usually put them in a bag, just a little sandwich baggie, if we're not gonna use them for a long time, and they'll stay for hours and hours. Sometimes days. Yeah, sometimes. Because we get busy and we seem to forget. I'm really bad about cleanup. So where's my... So I really hate that you guys can't see our faces, but I'm really trying to get it to where you can see the product because that's the important thing about doing these videos. You guys want to see the products. Um, right there. You got your glasses on? Yeah. But and she were, still didn't see it. You were behind it or in front of it or whatever. You were hiding it. So again, we are Jamie and Judy with Endless Creations. We are retailers for Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint line. And we are located in Columbus, Indiana. Miss Lillian's is on here doing some answering of any questions you have. If there's any that they do not answer while being on here live, we will go back through after the video is over and answer anything that we can. If you like this video, and want to share it with other people or you know someone that might be interested in watching it then we would love it if you like and share be entered into a drawing at the end of this video for a free eight ounce of miss lillian's no wax chalk paint
Now I'm going to start on the second coat. This is only one coat. Like I said, you can see, well, I'll bring it a little bit closer. But this right here, you can tell, that's what I said, your first coat is, it's ugly. It's not, not beautiful, and that's fine. That's kind of what you want. Now the second coat, we're going to do the same thing. <laughs> and the reason that we went ahead and done some of this is because you don't want to sit here for hours and watch us paint this whole piece. So we've kind of done steps so you can see each step and what it looks like after each one's done. Also, if you like watching us, we would love it if you go to our page that's tagged in the description of this live, Endless Creations, and like and follow our page. I promise that if you go there today, there will be a video pop up of me being silly in Sam's Club yesterday. Yeah, we're mother you and daughter. You will get a good laugh. We're mother and daughter, and sometimes we kind of spits back, which, trust me, people in our booth just love it. And um, <laughs> we also have fun. This video will show that. It's called the, what did I name it? The Sam. I don't know. I didn't look at the name. I didn't know you named it. Yes. But it'll be right there towards the top. Yeah, it's an exercise. You, you it, can't. It's a new it. exercise. And you'll see, you have to have fun. The cashiers were really having fun. Oh, one, yeah. One one to come home with us. All right, so this one is done with industrial, one coat. Really good coverage. I'm trying to get closer so you can see. And of course, go opposite oh. of my camera. So all of those that were only swamp mud are now done with one coat of paint. And each of them are a different color. One is, where'd you put the baby wipes? No, that's not the name of it. <laughs> I don't know. You put them over there. So <laughs> see, this is how it the, goes. The name of the paints from top to bottom are on the drawers are Sterling, Gallant Gray, and Industrial. And now she's done the second coat of Sterling. And I am going to go over and show you how to do a flat surface. Since we've got that detail part pretty much shown to you. Large flat surfaces are really hard to do sometimes. So, especially a light collar. Well, it all depends, but your lighter collars are, in my opinion, are harder to do. Like your whites and your super white, you know, light grays. Um, it but, just takes more coats yeah, for coverage. But they're beautiful on the end. And Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint is, a, there's a top, a sealer in it, so you do not have to seal your pieces. We normally do. That's just our preference, especially if it's a tabletop or like the top of a dresser where somebody may slide something across it. That's just for extra protection but you can tell I mean this is the smoothest no <laughs> chalky paint that I have ever I have ever painted with and I absolutely love it trying to get you really close up to see how that second coat's going on there and why she's saying a third coat's going to be needed yeah and it's just I'm this going the wrong way again And like it, with this, you can get right in here and just. That was a piece of lint. Really go to town. You can see she's doing really light coats. That way it has the space to self level. And what I normally do is once I do something that's got this corner detail, once I finish like this front, I'll kind of stand at a different angle. Cause sometimes you'll, you'll get your paint build up right here in the corner and just go like that. Just a little dab it and dab will do you. All right, how much of that drawer you got left? Not much. Okay. You could go ahead and start. Well, can you move I think this you get the chest. They can see right here. So now Jamie's going to work on. No, not that. Not you. that. I wanted the camera there. Oh, sorry. 
Well, you you moved down there. I don't know now. I'll, I'll move it so you just move it down to this edge. All right. All right. You need it moved? Um, I don't we're think gonna, so. We're going to move you just a little bit, guys. We'll try not to make you dizzy. Hopefully. I'm going to do that side first. Go up just a little bit. No, because I'm doing the side. Oh, you're doing the side first. Okay, sorry, guys. Okay, is that good? Never mind her. I'll get you set up. Sorry, this is hard to do whenever you're doing different parts and you're trying to get you guys where you can see close up. So I think that is good and you can see the whole side. So what I'm using now is one of Miss Lillian's chalk or paint brushes. It's the two inch angled. And I, I really like this for the flat surfaces. Oh, I got a piece of wood in there. Make sure your brushes are clean. That's just as important as what having your piece cleaned is. So I'm just gonna spray it and get it wet just a little bit. That way it helps the paint glide on there, okay? So again, this color is eyeing the past, not using very much at all little bit on there and I'm going to start from the top and just go back and forth with this and I like the angled ones because I can turn it sideways and really get up in there at the top and then right here at the edge especially if you didn't want to do this part in the same color then you could just go right down the side with this angled brush and do one long stroke Don't forget to share, guys. Like and share so you can win that, be entered to win that eight ounce of paint. The now, winner will be announced before we close this video. And we'll let you know. We'll give you about a three or four minute heads up. Now this right here, where I stopped, that's where I'm gonna show you how not to get that show up whenever you start your next section down here. Because this is already starting to dry. If you wait too long, you're gonna see where you start to stop. Okay, so you want to keep going on the same line so it doesn't get that spot. And I hope I'm not getting my head in the way. Again, go down the edge here, make sure you get any creases. And if you start to feel your brush drag like I am right there, just get your spray bottle and give it a light mist. It'll re-wet the brush and you'll be able to have more work time with your paint. Okay? Now, after I've got the whole line there painted, I'm gonna put quite a bit of water on this, not drench it, but quite a bit. That way, I can take and go from top to bottom in one long stroke. And then I move over to the next line and come back up with it. And then wherever you start to feel it drag again, get it wet again. That's the key to not having those start and stop lines. Because the water will re-wet it just enough to smooth them all out. Okay? So that's done. Now I'm going to go to the next section. And that's the best way to do long surfaces, flat surfaces like this, is just work in sections. You can just dab some, that way you get one long stroke there. See how harder, how much harder that was to blend it in with that, where I stopped there? That's because that line is already starting to dry. So it's not hard to blend in, it's just you can feel it and see that I had to go over it a few more times in order to get it to cover, like right here, right there. And again, it doesn't have to look pretty. Your first coat is gonna look pretty darn ugly. I think my husband thought I was nuts the other day when I started working on my cabinets. I put the swamp mud on and he's like, um, 
I know that side's not going to be showing, but he gave me a look. Like, I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I promise it'll be pretty. After the coats are done. So now I'm going to do my last section there. Just remember it's paint. Yep. You can always paint over it. And you do not have to sand it. No, that is that is such a time saver. Oh my God. And an arm saver. That's just one of the many things that we love about Miss Lillian's no wax chalk paint. Besides the fact that you don't have to wax it. <laughs> yeah, well, waxing is a nightmare. If you have ever worked with wax, please comment below and let us know. If you have worked with wax and have switched to no wax, let us know that one. And then let us know which one you prefer. Which one your arm prefers. That was a bristle, so I just took my brush sideways. Now I can go back over that real light, just like a feather, okay? Now I re-wet my brush and do my nice long one stroke down, one stroke up, down, and up. I feel like I'm doing wax on, wax off. Am I Mr. Miyagi? <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> Darn. No, because I'm not rich like he was with that movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now to get up. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. And not spill paint everywhere. Okay, I... This is the second coat of the Sterling. And you can see that, that covered pretty good. We're going to let it dry. It'll probably need one more touch-up, and that's it. Yeah, I, I, I see just a couple spots in corners. Yeah. And that's yeah. what she means by touch-up. Yeah. You may not have to do the whole entire thing. Just touch it up. All right. Now, we're going to move this once again so you can see me do the top of it. This one's the one that keeps, it keeps falling off of my okay, dolly. Okay, you go on that yep. way and behind it. All right, there. I'm going to get back here so you can see where it needs to be because that light, too, is shining down on it, so it needs to come closer. I want them to, mm, ah, I just touched that paint. I want them to be able to see on top of it. Hang with me, guys. That light is just like glaring. Try to turn this light hair off. Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off for you guys so you can really see it. Is that better? Someone tell me if that's better real quick. Can you see that better with or without the light? I'll wait just a second and let you guys tell me. Can you give me the paint and the spritzer while we're waiting? Yes, spritzer right there. Yes, better now. Okay. okay. Good. And guys, I just wanted to let you know that these little spritzer bottles, I picked these up at a beauty salon that's around here, but you can get them on Amazon. And they are awesome because they don't bring out that stream. You don't have to guess at it. And they, they're really good. Not too much water out of them. Okay, so I'm going to start. To you, it's the front. I always start away from me. That way, I don't start here and then lean into the paint if I'm going over a lot. If I have to reach, I don't want my paint to get all over, over my clothes there. So I always start with the surface farthest away from me. So for you guys, it's the front of the dresser and I'm just gonna do little dabs and then spread it out again I dampened my brush just a little bit a couple spritz with that water bottle to get it wet it just helps you be able to work that paint a little bit longer now I'm gonna go over here in the same line and do the other section or the other side of it And you don't want to do big sections because Miss Lillian's paint, it, it dries pretty quick, okay? So you don't have a lot of time to get in there with that 
spritz. So I'm wetting again. Can you move it up just a hair? Up that way? No, just take that hand. Oh, that's just there. There. They couldn't see me spritzing. So spritz it just a little bit, and then I'm going to take my long stroke, starting at one side, trying to move without stopping, because this is a long dresser, all the way down, and then come back with the next one. Again, this is just getting rid of that start and stop brush stroke that I did about this section right here. That's all this is doing. Other than that, the paint is going to work itself and do its self-leveling that it does so beautifully. And then make sure you come all the way up with your next section to where your first section stopped. And I'm starting to feel a drag, so I'm going to spritz again, just a little bit. And what I mean by dragging, I don't know how to explain it, but you'll, you'll you'll feel it. Yeah, you'll feel it. You'll feel the difference in your paintbrush. Sometimes you got to do it a couple times. Come back over here and do this side now. I'm doing a bigger section here this side or this time so I had to use a little bit more paint I hope you guys can see how much that seems to be covering this is only coat two if you see this to here I'm sure you can see that well you can move them up real quick and get it closer if you want to so this again we normally would have used white swamp mud underneath but we had to use the gray because I forgot to bring my white yeah and, as and you I had her white yeah, as you could tell, the, the gray's really dark. This is really covering really It's nicely. covering really good. Because it's such a light coat, I figured we would have to do four to five coats. I think we're going to get away with three. All right, so that one's starting to dry just a little quick for me. So I'm going to get my brush wet a little bit more than what I normally do. If you have questions, post them in the comment. Miss Lillian's is on here to answer any of your questions. Again, like and share. That way you can be entered into the giveaway at the end of this for a free eight ounce of Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint. Be sure and stay tuned. Um, we will get a time and a date for our final part of this three-piece series, which will be top coating. And we hope to do that next week. It'll either be next week or the week after. We'll have to wait and see who's scheduled when. But that'll be our third and final. And we're going to be using Miss Lillian's um, Satin Luster. Oh, oh. oh. Jamie's dropping things over here. Here. That goofed for me too, because that, that was supposed to be my spritz to go my long stroke. Uh oh. So now I'm working fast with this one. You've done the spritz there. I know. I, okay. It messed me up though. I forgot that's what the spritz was for. Uh oh. Just a little tip on the brushes while she's getting that. If you get any any of these brushes, especially new ones, whenever you open them, be sure and work these bristles because you will have a few loose ones. See, there's one or two. But the more you wash it and the more you use it, the less bristles that you'll have. But if you really, really, and I really, really get down in there and work them. Really, really, really? Yes, I do. She always makes fun of me. I do. The way I talk. I really, really do. But if you happen to get, if you happen to lose a bristle while you're painting and you're going this direction, just take your brush lightly and usually it'll pick it right up here and you just throw it away. Just a little tip. Okay, now I'm coming in and doing the very last section of the top. After this section, I'm going to do the front there. 
or you can do the front with the small. Show them how you're doing it with the small brush, the, ink, the round thingy. Yeah, and then after that, I we'll find out what she calls them. We'll pro we'll be just about finished. I'll let you know a couple minutes before we get done with this other side over here. See there, she just got a bristle out. That's how you do it. Okay, this corner left, and then I've got a coat on all this. All right, so now I'm going to spritz again. <coughs> and I usually get a spritz on each side of my brush, and that gets me, and I stand kind of in the middle of my project, especially whenever it's long like this. And I can start at one end, go all the way down. You gotta move your body. And then I can usually get one swipe back with it too. So you're doing the sway sway. Yeah. <laughs> Again, one spritz on each side of the brush. You stand in the middle, go down one time, all one nice long stroke, and then back again. And that's how you do a long surface. Ta -da! Or a big surface with long strokes. However you want to say it. So, I think Judy is going to show you the last part of the dresser. And that's detail on the front with the little brush. Ugh, and I gotta squeeze through here. Okay. So, so you guys let me can move you back and get you situated. Okay. Can they see I, that? I think so. You guys can see that, okay. Yeah, I think right there they can. Okay, this is my little specialty brush that we used on the drawers. And since this has got so much detail, I'm just gonna go in here. That's why I said this, this little brush is just perfect. And you can get it wet too if you need to. Yes. If it starts this to drag, then you get it wet too. Already is. And all we're spraying it with, I keep touching the paint. Quit doing that, Jamie. Thank goodness we gotta do another coat. <laughs> but anyway, we're spraying it with water out of one of these little spray bottles that she got at the hair shop. It's right here. She dropped one. I know I did. But as, as I said, this part right here is all plastic also. And we have painted, <laughs> we've painted wood, plastic, metal, ceramic, glass, um, fabric, fabric. Miss Lillian's can do it all, trust me. If not, she'll figure out a way. But these little daubs in here, I just do all that. I, I call it stippling, smashing, whatever you want to call it in there, but that'll really get it in there. And remember, this is your first coat, so it's gonna look kind of scrawny, but you get the idea of this brush. I love this little brush. Again, if you want to find Miss Lillian's products, go on to MissLillianspaint.net and look for find a retailer. And you can find out if there's a retailer close to your location. They would be more than happy to help you. It's really gonna be your best resource locally because you can go in, you can talk to them, you can kind of give them an idea of what you're wanting to do and they can help walk you through what products you'll need and the best step process, all that. Um, if you do not have a local retailer, you can order from MissLillianspaint.net. And a lot of the retailers, too, that have their own shops, they will do paint classes. So you might check into that also. And they'll teach you what you need to know step by step. And they're also a lot of fun. Might as well grab a friend or somebody and just try it out. You can try out a picture frame. You don't have to start with furniture or something small. There we go. That's, you got some in here. First, that ain't done. Oh. The door isn't done, ain't no. done. 
All right, so we are getting ready to stop the video because you don't want to stay here and watch us all day. So if Miss Lillian's wants to go ahead and pick the winner so that we can announce who gets to get that eight ounce of Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint, a color of their choice. Again, thank you for watching. We really appreciate your support of Miss Lillian's and Endless Creations and all the other retailers. We, we really, really appreciate you taking your time out to come watch with us. And we would love it if you go onto our page. Like I said, watch that, watch that video. It's freaking hilarious. It's pretty funny. I Let us know. Myself. Let us know what you think about it. Again, if you're watching on the replay, live, whatever, just put hashtag live replay in the comments so we know. If you have a specific project that you want to see on video, you can turn this light back on. Well, there. I'll just stand like this. Never mind. Um, just message or email your suggestion, and we'll see what we can come up with for you guys. I'm waiting on a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Where are we? I don't want to take up too much of your time. Can you read Gina, Gina. Matone. Oh, my. Oh. All right. She's already. I got to look at that again. Oh, oh, oh. Gina, Give me just okay. a second. I got to bring up my message here. Gina Matone. Oh, my. I'm, I'm probably going to mess this one up. I don't know. G I E T C K. <laughs> we will put it in the comments also. So I'm sorry. I totally messed up your name. Please, if you have a way to help me pronounce it, give it to me. I, I would love to learn how to say that name. So, Guy Tech. Okay. Woohoo! Gina Guy Tech. <laughs> That's easier than what it looks like. <laughs> so congratulations, Gina. You are the winner of the eight ounce of Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint. Again, we're Jamie and Judy, Judy with Endless Creations. We thank you very much for coming and watching with us today. Stay tuned next week. Bye. Have a good day.